Hey, this is Mark with Comic Spear and Sci-Fi. I'm here at the Imagine Theater here in Birmingham, and I just got out seeing Spider-Man Homecoming. Let me just give you a little quick history of all the Spider-Man movies. Starting in 2002, the first Spider-Man movie came out, directed by Sam Raimi and starring Tobey Maguire, Kristen Dunst, and Willem Dafoe. I really enjoyed the first Sam Raimi movie. It had a really cool origin story, and Willem Dafoe was really menacing. And then in 2004, Spider-Man 2 came out starring Alfred Molina as Doc Ock. J.K. Simmons as J. Jonah Jameson actually stole those trilogies. Then in 2007, Spider-Man 3 came out. James Franco had a bigger role in this movie, and it also starred Thomas Hayden Church. I enjoyed uh, Thomas Hayden Church's portrayal of Sandman, which was the only portrayal in live action of that character. But unfortunately, the Venom character was forced into the movie and kind of bogged it down. And in 2012, they rebooted the franchise under the title The Amazing Spider-Man, starring Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone. Andrew Garfield did a good job, but I thought the CG character of the lizard was just too fake looking. And in 2014, the sequel came out, Amazing Spider-Man 2, starring Dane DeHaan and Jamie Foxx as the villain. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 was just overloaded with too many villains. The Jamie Foxx character was ridiculous looking and was more like an Edward Nigma from Batman Forever. Emma Stone was probably the highlight of those two movies. She did a great Gwen Stacy, but I don't really recommend the Amazing Spider-Man movies. They were just not really entertaining enough or made sense to me. And then now we have 2017 Spider-Man Homecoming, which is the first Spider-Man movie to be introduced into the MCU. And I must say, it fit in perfectly. It had the same tone as the other movies, same special effects, same pacing, and it was just really good. And I put that up there with one of my top favorites of the Spider-Man movies. I'll have to give that to Spider-Man 2. I highly recommend this movie. Go see it, everyone. This is Mark with Comic Spear and Sci-Fi here at the Imagine Theater in Birmingham, Michigan.